Hi friends, in this video I am going to talk about clean code tips. I am Vinod from interview. I would like to share some tips for writing clean code and I would like to share some of the experiences that I had during the code review. Let's see. I am happy to share my learning experiences to all my subscribers and viewers. I am glad that so far I have worked in 20 different software projects and out of these 3 are new projects, greenfield projects. I've got so many review comments from my team members. It was really great learning. So let's see clean code tips one by one. The first one would be while writing the code or reviewing the code, please ask this question. Is the code readable? Is the code understandable? Whenever you're writing the code, whenever you're reviewing the code, please ask this question like, is the code readable? Is the code understandable? Is any other developer in the team or later point of time can understand this code? Meaningful names are very very important for your project and code readability is very important. When you are writing the code or reviewing the code, please ask questions like why the variable name is like this, method name, class name, interface name are like this. What's the reason behind it? Am I able to understand the variable name, method name, class name? Am I able to understand the business logic? At a later point of time, anyone can understand the workflow because it's not only you are going to maintain the code, it's going to be like a lot of people going to maintain this code and they have to understand the code. And whenever there is a new change comes for the new feature, it should be possible to search within the project and add this new feature effectively. Please ask why questions, especially for naming. The next point would be, is the domain names are used in your code properly? So we are writing a software for a business and for a domain. So we should map the domain names in the code appropriately so that we can support the business effectively. Example for domain names, product, item, cart, shopping cart, tracking number. So these are the examples for domain names. Are we using the domain names appropriately in the code? Are we able to map them correctly in our code because understanding the domain is very important and mapping them in the code is also very important. So please focus on mapping the domain names appropriately in your code. So I would say please focus on code readability is one of the main clean code tips. The next clean code tip would be please ask these questions like is the variable belong to this method? Whether the variable method and class are connected well, their relationships are correct. Please ask this question like is the variable belong to this method? Do we really need this variable inside this method or inside this class? And the next question would be is the method belong to this class? Why do we need this method inside this class? Why do we need so many methods inside the class? Is this business logic already covered in any other class? So such questions we can ask so that we can avoid code duplication and a, and a class should do the right thing. The next question I would be asking is, is the method or class does only one thing? The single responsibility principle. It's very important because if the method does more responsibility, it's very difficult to understand and manage it. If a class does many things, it's very difficult to manage. For example, if there is a bug in one of the responsibility inside the class, if I try to fix it, the other feature might break. That's why a method or class should do only one thing and it should take only one responsibility and it do it well. And even for a variable, I would say it has to take only one responsibility. Please remember single responsibility principle at any level, even for a package, even for a microservice, I would say it has to do one thing clearly. The next question I would like to ask is why this class belongs to this package? It's very important that classes and the packages are placed well and they are together and they are related. I don't want to place domain related classes or packages inside the API. API package is for the client. For the consumers it might be completely different from the domain because domain talks about the business our business so i would like not to place a repository or service inside the api layer or a dto inside the domain layer so they are completely different and configuration is separate and infrastructure is different so whenever there is an issue comes how fast i can reach the package and able to understand the code and fix them and even for a new developer for onboarding they should be able to easily understand the package structure the moment we are going to mix together, it's going to be a problem. So please ask this question anytime, whenever you add a new class, ask a question, is this class belong to this particular package? The next clean code tip would be, I would like to check there are no duplicates in the code. Because duplicate means twice I need to manage them and it's very difficult to identify once it's been introduced. So while writing the code, I would like to identify it and extract it so that there is only one block of code exists in the project. To avoid duplicates or boilerplate code using Genrix or Lambok, there are so many libraries available in the markets. Try to use them to avoid 
duplicate in your project. While delivering the code, I would like to ask is the test case are covered properly? I don't want to have any bugs in the delivered code. So is the test cases are covered properly? The test cases are balanced between the integration test cases and the unit test cases because there should be more unit test cases compared to the integration test cases because integration test cases are expensive and it takes time because it connects components together whereas unit test cases it will be very fast so please try to find out a balance between the unit test cases and the integration test case ask the question do we really need this integration test cases can we cover using the unit test case so always remember the test pyramid and one more important point is move out all the hard-coded configurations outside the projects so you have a project and there are hard-coded things or some of the configurations are hard-coded in your code so please move them out to a configuration file so all the outcoded strings should be moved out so that whenever there is a change in the configuration i don't have to change the code i have to just change the property file so this is one of the benefit we have and the next and the final point would be be consistent while writing the code i've seen this in many of my projects so inside the project i can see the usage of product info and product details in some other module and product for the same domain entity there are three different names have been given if we are not consistent, what will happen? We are introducing the confusion within the project. It's very difficult to manage the code and people might be asking, what's the difference between product info and product details? And we have to say they both are same. Then why do we need to have two different names for them? For the service name or the repository name or the entity name or whatever, like table names, be consistent in your entire project. So far, I've shared basic information about clean code tips. It's a huge topic, I would say, and there are so many things to learn in this clean code topics. Hope these few basic points are helpful for your career. Thank you so much for your support and all the best for your career. Thank you.